Okay, Darren, for this one, uh, I figure we go look at something different, something we've never looked at before. We're gonna head down to uh, Mount Pleasant. We're gonna look at nice. some farmland. Beautiful, love Mount Pleasant. Yeah, beautiful sprawling mountains. Uh, and this particular property is 3,200 square feet with two bedrooms, two full baths. It was built in 2007 Ooh. and it's on six acres. And they have an additional 18 acres uh, that they could, uh, if you want more acreage, you can uh, we can, it, huh? yeah, we can we can put that together too. So it's a newer home on large acreage. That's nice. Yeah, and they've got a kind of a cabin style, which is really nice and very fitting for that area. Mm -hmm. They've got some obviously uh, doing some some farming as well. Headed into the side inside, you're going to notice. Look at that big vault. You see how the spans across and makes that yeah. big, huge room. Yes. Very unique. You don't see this normally in, in construction and, and residential. It's mostly done in commercial style building. But they have to usually put a steel header across that whole thing to be able to span that roof into a big open room like that. Yeah, boy, it sure opens it up. Yeah, and they did that nice wood paneling on the wall. Headed here into the kitchen. One of the real highlights of this property, of course, is this kitchen. As you're going to say, they have a huge stove and their cabinets are just absolutely beautiful and really tie into this property. Yes. Love those ranges. I mean, look at that thing. Yeah, that thing must be like a 12 burner stove. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it's serious, it's massive. I was really surprised how big it was. It's a lot of pancakes. Yeah, look, at you can see all the knobs on there. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that thing is huge. Okay, headed into the master bedroom, you can see they've got it situated just the way it should be, you know, very woodsy uh, and, you know, just very quaint. Yeah, nice home feel. Yeah. They've got decks off of both the front of the house, so you've got a little porch off the front and off the back of the house, and a deck off the back, so you get to take advantage of those views. Yeah, nice. The cellar does some really nice uh, wood and steel work, and you can see that they've added that in in here into their uh, in their railing. Yeah. Kind of nice, kind of ties it in, very homey. Now, what we were just looking at before was the upstairs, and this would be considered kind of a, a this would normally be like a basement, mm -hmm. uh, but they've got this situated on the main level. So it's uh, it's still got all the light and everything, and it's got plenty of room if you wanted to add on, if you wanted to add more bedrooms or anything like that, plenty of room. There's a deck you were talking about. Look yeah. at that view. It's Look at that. Nothing out there, but just beautiful. You're gonna have some crops and some views of the mountains, which, which are great. Headed off the front deck here, you're going to notice your two-car garage is right off there. And then we're going to scroll over here and look at their barn. And I know, Darren, you, you got some farm animals, don't you? I've got a few chickens, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so do I. I love <laughs> chickens. <right. laughs> I love these guys are situated, though. They've got, they've got a, this is a real barn. And it's, it, but it's, it's got a barn, it's got a workshop, and they've got a mother-in-law apartment. And this is where they lived when they were building the house. And so it's, so it's got the perfect kind of getaway and it's got the shop next to it. And so if you're into, you know, woodworking or steel work or, you know, working on cars or anything, it's perfectly situated. They've got a bar right out there for their animals and plenty of land. Even the outhouse. Yeah, they got an outhouse. One of the things I really like about this property, this, well, it's not so much a outhouse. We should probably talk about this. It's a smokehouse. It's a smokehouse, yeah. yeah. It was never an outhouse. <laughs> They've got all this land uh, right across the street. Like I said, another 18 acres. And one of the nice things what I really like about this was they're offering seller finance. And so if you wanted to get away from it all and you don't want to have to qualify for a loan, uh, this very well might be your property. Yeah, that's not very common. 